Um, we have p cubed q squared times p times q to the fifth. Now, when you're multiplying these now, by laws of indices, when the bases are the same, we add the powers. So this becomes p cubed times p is p to the four. And then q squared times q to the fifth, we add one to the power to get q to the seven. Two plus five is seven. And so that's that, that's two marks. That's, that's really crazy, but that's two marks, All right? Now this is another giveaway, two marks. It says express as a single fraction in its simplest form. So first thing you have a over three plus three a over two. First thing you find the LCM. LCM between three and two is six. Then three into six goes two times. So this becomes two a plus two into six goes three times. And so this becomes three times three A and three times three A is nine A. And so two A plus nine A is 11 A. So that's 11 A divided by six. Nice and easy, soft. Now part C says factorize completely X squared minus 5x plus 4. All right, so we're going to ask ourselves, which two number only times and we'll get 4? But when we add them, we get negative 5. That's negative 1 and negative 4. So we're going to, of course, rewrite this as x squared minus x minus 4x plus 4. This is how we split the middle term. And then now from the first two, we can factor out x. And factoring out x, we're left back with x minus one. And then from the next two, we can factor out a negative four. So if we factor out a negative four, we're left back with, of course, x minus one. Now we can just finally conclude that the quadratic, when it's factorized, is x minus one times, of course, x minus four. No, no issues at all, all right? No issues. Nice and easy, soft. Now, part two. Part two has m squared minus four n squared. And it asks us to factorize this. Clearly, this is the difference of two squared. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rewrite this as m squared minus, now 4n squared can be written as 2n all square. This can be written as 2n all square. And so then we can apply differences of two square to get m minus 2n times m plus 2a. And this is this factorized. Nice and easy, no issues at all, soft. Nice, that's that. That takes care of the most part of question two so far. Now it says solve for x. It says two x minus seven is less than or equal to three. So if we bring over this seven, if we add seven to both sides, we're gonna see that two X is less than or equal to 10. And then when we divide through by two, we're gonna get that X is less than or equal to five. All right, so that is it. X is less than or equal to five. Now the next part of the question it asks us if X is a positive integer, list the possible values. If X is a possible, is a positive integer, list the possible values of x. All right. So x is less than or equal to five. So x can be all of the numbers, all right? So x can be from five going down. 
So x can be five, four, three, two, one. It says positive integer, all right? So these are the possible values of x. It says positive integer, all right? So x can be less than or equal to five. And all the possible values of x is gonna be five, four, three, two, one, one. Positive number are numbers that are greater than zero. All right, and so these are all the possible values x can be. Now this part now, part E, it says find the value of two pi times the square root of L over G, where pi is 3.14, L is 0 0.625, G is 10. Now this is, the, this is the formula that they use in physics to find period, all right? This is the period of a simple pendulum. They generally define this formula as T. So they're trying to put some physics in the math. So those that do physics would have been used to seeing this formula from simple pendulum, nice and easy. So you put pi as 3.14. And so the value of that is gonna be two times 3.14 And then all of that is multiplied by the square root of L over G and L is 0 0.625. And then we divide it by G and G is 10. Nice and easy. So work that out, let's see what we're getting. So 0 0.625 divided by 10, and then we square root it and then we multiply it by two times 3.14, that's 1.57. So the final answer we're getting, when you put all of this in a calculator, it's gonna be 1.57. Nice and easy, soft. And that takes care of question two, no real issues. All right, question three. 